Greetings again, fellow technophiles. My name is Nathan House. Have you ever wondered how hackers and malware can hack you while you're surfing the web? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how easily you can be hacked while surfing the web using social engineering attacks and by exploiting vulnerabilities in your browser. So sit tight and enjoy the ride. Check out the comments below for references and links discussed in the video. I want to give you a demonstration of how browsers get hacked to give you an appreciation of really what is possible and what does happen out there. So here we have the latest Firefox, fully patched on Windows 7, no exploits available for it. We can see here we're running Flash, JavaScript, Java and Silverlight and we're patched up with Windows as well. So if I want to attack this browser, I need to get something to run in this browser. So if I imagine I'm away from this browser and I'm an evil hacker and you are using this browser, as I said, I want to get something to run in this browser. And in this example, I'm going to use JavaScript to send my payload. And I can do this in many ways. So I could send you an email with the JavaScript embedded within that email. And if your email client runs scripts, then I'm good. I could look for vulnerabilities in sites that you visit. Cross-site scripting vulnerabilities is actually the technical name for what I'd be looking for. And then I'd be able to embed scripts in legitimate sites. So for example, Facebook, or more likely something like a forum that you might visit. I could buy an ad from an ad network and embed the script in that way. You could come to a site that I own and I could send you a link to come to that site, or I could send a link to anywhere where that script is running. So there are lots of ways to get that script to run within your browser or in the context of your browser, because that's simply how the internet works. It's a whole bunch of scripts running within your browser. If you are specifically targeted by an attacker, they might hack you manually, but it's most likely in most situations that the hacking of a browser will happen in an automated fashion so that they can harvest the most amount of victims. But here I'm going to be demonstrating a hack manually. So here's the site that we have embedded the script. The butcher, it, this has a strange URL, but we'd have a normal URL here. It wouldn't be something that you would uh, find unusual. And there's a script somewhere embedded in here. So if we use Firebug and we do a little search and there you can see script is there and it's reaching out to somewhere and I could embed this within the page and reach out to my evil server somewhere. And if you're curious, the script looks like this. Which is not going to make much sense to you unless you understand JavaScript. Now I need to switch onto my pen testing box, which is here. This is Kali Linux, which is a Debian-based uh, Linux distribution aimed at uh, penetration testing and security auditing. And I'm going to be using a combination of the Metasploit framework, which is an open source penetration testing tool for developing and executing exploit code. And also what you can see here, which is in front of you, is the browser exploitation framework, or which is usually just referred to as Beef. And that's another open source pen testing tool, but that's aimed at exploiting the browser. So because you've run that script, I can see you here. So let me close these ones. And that is you. That is the browser that is connected. And I can see a lot of information about the browser, as you would expect, because the browser gives away all of that information. I can see that you're on a Windows machine. I can see that you're running Firefox. I can see the plugins that are installed, Google Update, I can see there's Java there. Uh, I can see all the various uh, functionality, web RTC, which means I can potentially get your real IP address if you're hidden behind a proxy. There is your real IP. I can see the operating system and even the size of your screen. So I want to start to compromise this box. 
Now, let's assume there are no vulnerabilities, nothing to exploit, and I'm just going to use the regular functionality within JavaScript in your browser. So let's go, let's go down to the social engineering tab and fake notification bar. Now, I'm going to send a fake notification to that browser to look like it's a Firefox plugin extension. And all I need to do is simply execute. Notification has been displayed. Let's have a look. And there we are. The notification is there. So you imagine this is just a forum that you happen to be browsing on, a site that you're normally at. And I've inserted that JavaScript and this pops up. If you click on this and run this, then I could potentially install anything, a Trojan, a rat, a backdoor. Let's close that. Maybe you want to try to steal your Facebook credentials. Let's try putting up a fake Facebook login. And there we are. So we send that login information, thinking that we are logging in as normal. And there we go. We've received that information unencrypted because it's just been directly sent to us. It's not from Facebook. And perhaps we want to steal your Google credentials. Let's execute this one. And here we go. Fake Google page. Again, if you enter the username and password, then they'll be stolen. Let's go back to beef. Now, let's imagine there are exploits available for this. So the Firefox browser is vulnerable or maybe you haven't patched Flash or Silverlight or Java, and we find a vulnerability in those. So let's imagine I exploit a Java vulnerability. And in this case I have. And what I've done is I've given myself a reverse shell back to the Windows machine. And here you can see I'm on the Windows machine and I can see the very very secret password file. If I type ms info32, I can actually get things to run on the desktop. And you can see here I've just launched this. And in fact, from that command line, I can pretty much do anything with the level of privileges that the current user is logged in as. If I want to do more, I'd have to try and exploit the operating system in order to escalate my privileges to an administrator. But that may or may not be difficult depending on the security that you've set up. Let's close this. Let's go back to Kali. Now, of course, because I've got a reverse shell, I can run anything. So I can even use things like VNC. so that I can actually use the desktop remotely. So here I am using VNC remotely through a browser hack. And you can see here that I've opened the start menu. But there are many things you could do once you've got access and the user wouldn't necessarily be able to see what you were doing. You wouldn't open a desktop that the user could see and you could do lots of things behind the scenes. So I hope that gives you a clearer idea of really what is possible. Once even just the smallest amount of script is run within your browser, you can do all of those social engineering attacks. And then if you're not patched or there is exploits available, zero day exploits, then simply really you can create these reverse shells. Reverse shells I'll explain later, but it is simply just a way of getting remote access to your machine 
you can get those reverse shells and then that's it you own the machine how many people do you think would be fooled by the social engineering attacks like the ones i just demonstrated are you running flash silverlight java or any other active content in your browser that could be exploited and perhaps is not patched well if you are it's certainly time to patch it and if you're not using it then you definitely want to remove it if you have any suggestions for topics you would like me to cover please make a suggestion in the comments below i would love to hear back from you if you want access to our full online courses on cybersecurity, covering more on online hacking and how to defend yourself against that hacking, check out the link below for a special discount coupon to those great courses. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly videos.